Okay, so I was flying through this volcano one day, you know, I'm your typical flying mushroom through a volcano type of guy. And I came across this coat hanger named Ali. Woohoo! Ali! And you know, she was just sitting there, boohoo, boohoo, and I was like, what is wrong? She was like, I want to fly like you! And I was like, shut up, you suck a life! And she was like, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty sad. And you know, to shut her up, I went to go visit a magic fairy. So there I was, in magical, fanciful fairy house land, and you know, I was talking to the fairy, and she had a pretty wand, and I was like, hey, fairy. What does that pretty one do? And she was like, well, you know, it is shark shaped and it's pretty and sparkly and makes me look nice. It's kind of an accessory, as I like to say. And I said, shut up, it's a magic wand. It's got to do something. She's like, okay, okay, so it shuts people up and turns them into frogs. And I was like, give me that. And so I took her wand and she was like, <laughs> she was pretty sad. You know, she did not like me taking her wand because she wanted to look pretty, but she was already kind of ugly, so it was okay. So anyways, I came back to Allie, and she was like, hey, where you been? Your arms got worn out for the traveling or something? You know, why are they so thin? I said, shut up. You know, I could turn you into a flying coat hanger. And she was like, happy. And I was like, you know what, but no, I hate you. So, I'm going to turn you into a frog. And so I turned her into a frog. Except I turned her into a paper plate frog because, you know, I'm not your average fairy, I'm your... Let's turn them into a paper frog instead, you know, you know, that's how I do. Raw meat you!